let's check out a nice support species. Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverts and Other Animals with me, Phil. And as I said in this video, we're going to be checking out another species of isopod that I keep. This time we're going to be checking out the Porcelio Spatulatus. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here we have my enclosure for my Porcelio Spatulatus. So these are one of my favourite species of isopod that I currently keep. Um, I believe I first got these guys in January at the uh, Southeast Arachnid Show and they have been breeding for me, uh, as you can see, really well uh, ever since. So yeah, these guys originate from the island of Sardinia uh, where they live on the cliff sides uh, around the island. So off the coast of Italy in the Mediterranean. So, and these are actually one of uh, the widest, I believe, uh, isopods uh, that there is. So they've got quite a skirt on them, the adults. Uh, so you can see a couple of adults where with some juveniles and some some new podlings as well. So, uh, that, so these guys, as you see, do breed really, really uh, readily. So, so the way I've got these set up actually at the moment, it's a relatively small enclosure. It's actually just a, a bra plus uh, tub, flip top tub. Uh, they've got a general mix of you know decaying organic matter, you know, so decaying leaves and woods and stuff. So you know your basic kind of isopod. Uh, substrate mix uh, along with a bit of moss that came with them and stuff and the bark that came with them as well so, now these guys they do like it a little bit drier than a lot of species uh, again, being a porcelio most, a lot of porcelio tend to like it a little bit drier uh, but it's important to give them a humidity gradient so what I just do is at one end I give it a very light spray um, you know maybe sort of once a week or so, so uh, make sure there's leaf litter in there, top up the leaves every now and then when they need to top it up. No, but then one end I don't spray really at all, and so they can choose where they want to inhabit. Now, like with uh, most isopods, obviously they, their primary diet is uh, decaying organic matter, so your your dead leaf litter, your leaf mulch, so uh, mosses, lichens, uh, uh, rotten wood, things like that. And so, uh, so similar to other isopods and uh, I mean, they will eat a little bit of protein, I find. Uh, so occasional sort of fish flakes uh, are fine. So even things like bee pollen every now and then. Also find these guys do eat quite a bit of uh, veg matter, actually. So I'll put so every now and then a, a junk carry in and it's gone. Um, sometimes within hours and so if you don't want to feed too much when it comes to sort of veggie sort of stuff um as that's not their primary diet you want them to have eat that organic matter uh as much as possible so, but these guys are a fantastic fantastic addition uh into anyone's sort of isopod hobby uh in my opinion so um that was i think absolutely stunning with this real kind of flared skirt on them as you can see and yeah if you keep them obviously right they uh they breed like nobody's business uh and the same as a lot of other species although this species is not for me overly or seeming overly difficult uh to keep and breed and not necessarily one i would recommend for the absolute beginner into isopods but certainly when you're looking you know perhaps that next move up in your isopod game definitely consider porcelio special artists um yeah, for me these are just absolutely fantastic i love watching these little guys uh, at the moment like i said i'm uh, keeping them just in a, a flip top bra blast uh plastic container so they can be kept fairly cheaply you know like a lot of isopods um but i've been about perhaps doing a bit of a display enclosure so highly highly recommend this species of isopod okay guys so they were my porcelio spatulatus what do you guys think i absolutely love this species uh i've got these guys originally in january this year and they've been breeding for me uh, ever since, as you can see. I've gone from Curtis Larkin. Uh, he is a fantastic isopod breeder. So if you go to the shows, he frequents a few of them. Uh, it's always worth checking his table out for, for isopods, beetle grubs, stick insects, and grasshoppers, and anything like that. Uh, that's all the sort of stuff he specialises in. Um, but yeah, he does some fantastic, fantastic isopods. And often a bit cheaper than anyone else because he's just a private breeder. So, um, but yeah, these guys... Absolutely fantastic. Uh, keep them very much like a lot of porcelios. They're like a little bit drier. So, but still give them, you know, try and give them a humidity gradient, uh, which is really important for a lot of isopod species. So, um, and yeah, just fantastic. But if you did like this video, guys, please do give it a thumbs up. 
pop some comments down below. Do you keep isopods? Uh, what species do you keep? Uh, do you have species that you would love uh, to keep? So I certainly still got a wish list of isopods that I would love to get. Um, we're getting really, really into my isopods. So, um, also, guys, please do check out uh, the description. Uh, down there, you'll find various links, like Spider Shop affiliate link, where if you're doing your spider shopping or if they sell isopods as well. So, if, and you use that link and for shopping, I get a little bit of commission at no extra cost to you. There's also the discount code down there uh, for. Um, MK Exotics, where you get 15% off if you spend over £25. So, uh, there's also a brand new discount code down there as well uh, for Antscapes uh, website. Again, get some ice from Antscapes and you get 10% off. So, as well as uh, links to my merch store, uh, my Patreon, if that's something that interests you. So, yeah, do go into the description, check out uh, you know various things. And so, and if you haven't yet, the most important thing is please do subscribe uh, to this channel if you haven't yet. And hit that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload another video. Um, this coming Monday, uh, all being well, I'll be doing a uh, live stream with Ryan of Antscapes. Um, so do check out, be around sort of eight o'clock uh, in the evening on Monday UK time. So, um, so really, really looking forward to that. And so, where kind of that's where we'll kind of officially announce, you know, the uh, uh, the, the discount code, but. I'm telling you guys now and stuff so you can go ahead and do your isopod shopping. So, but until next time guys, take care, stay safe and keep rocking.